75th anniversary. 75 years of a land. Yep. And, and they've made this ski, this is like a 1990s two meter mogul ski. This actually well, was a, a this ski, was right? a uh, was a giant slalom ski. Right. So it's got a little bit it's of metal a GS in it. Ski. Yeah, GS With a ski. titanium plate running through but it. But that was kind of funny because you're like back at, back then, like now we have all these different skis to choose from. Back then it was like you want a slalom ski or do you want a giant slalom ski? That's it. And it was pretty much like, uh, did you want something hard on the edge or you know right. like a torsion box ski or did you want a laminate? I mean that's basically what you were answering. So you used to ski moguls on a slalom ski, basically, like what most was that, a slalom ski? Like, For the most part, a yeah. A long slalom ski, like a if two meter. Skiing the ones with the metal in them, you'd end up bending them. Right. And then they'd have rocker. <laughs> <laughs> rocker. But um, back then you just said your skis were bent. <laughs> But uh, no, um, it's uh, yeah, pretty funny. The funny thing is though, when we were looking at it, you know, everybody everybody thinks these skis are straight skis, but right. you know, when I had you look they're down, not, there's actually, not. there's a lot of side there's cut there. There's a side cut. Like there's almost more side cut on this than there is on this. Right. Pretty chirpy, huh? Which is pretty cool. Yeah, really cool. But yeah, you, you just stick that on its edge and it won't turn the same way, will it? You need, nah, to, like, you you gotta, need to rotate. You got to have some up down motion and usually you had to have some rotation in there too. So yeah. like we want to make a fistful of moguls too. For a few moguls more. For a few moguls <laughs> more. We're going to get the world mogul skiing. Like. That'd be fine man. You know with all the with all these people talking about sustainability and and eco and everything. The more moguls, the better we are. Don't groom the slopes. Yeah, no. We Don't take the groomers out. No more fossil fuels grooming the slopes. And uh, and What's that? we might be actually, if, if probably, actually, I think our foot will be all screwed up because we'll be breathing heavier. So we'll be putting out more cops. So we're no, screwed no. either way. No, we'll be fitter. <laughs> we'll be fitter, and that's good. But no, and, then, and uh, it'd be a lot safer on the mountains because people will be skiing a little bit below their ability probably for yeah, the first right. time in a while. And your, is your dad a, a real keen skier? Is that oh yeah, he skis every day. Is that where you started skiing with your he family? He didn't teach or? me how to ski, but my dad got me into skiing. Did he? Yeah. yeah. In, yeah. in California? Uh, first time I skied was actually in Montana, but for the most part I lived in California. That's where my parents were going to school at the time. So. Okay, so in Montana and then you ended Just, up in California. I was two years old, I wouldn't remember any of it, but no, I grew up as a California skier. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. You can get your big fat skis and you can go fast, you can go ski everything, but you know, moguls are moguls. and no way to cheat those, right? You either know how to ski them or you don't. Do you and the beauty of it is, is I love the social aspect of skiing. I think the one thing that I miss the most about like people not skiing moguls is just the social aspect. You used to ski bumps under the chair in the afternoon. Some people were good, some people were bad. It didn't matter, everybody's just having fun. Right. And that aspect of skiing I do miss. You know, we're all got our helmets on, we got our airbags, all our crap, and you know, we all charge and free ride and take jumps. And, and when you're skiing bumps, you're like skiing around, sun's out, it's cool, you know. Do you think, like, more serious kind of question, I reckon that if you're a free ride skier and yes. you're skiing powder, you want to get better at that? Would you agree with me that actually if you can ski moguls, really well and the, and the rotational ability that you have when you right. ski bumps would that would that improve your free ride skiing overall no doubt about it if you if you actually look at let's say the competitive side of it look how fast candide came into the sport took it over tanner halls had great great, great. um you know uh, we look at henrik you know all these guys that had mogul backgrounds they they did very well you you're, you're used to skiing three-dimensional you know, yeah, right. You know, so and they, it is a bit of a, it's repetitive skiing moguls, and anytime you're doing something repetitive, you're going to, you know, it's the old numbers game. Right. You're going to get good. So. I've just got a question that's popped into my head. What's that? It's either going to go like one way or the other. If you could be any meal in the world, meal, what meal, meal, what would you be? Wow, shoot, ribeye steak, that's my favorite. Oh, man, I love that. 
ribeye steak. Go ahead, sponsor. That's what yeah, meal. I, that's the meal I would be too. <laughs> We're both ribeye steaks. I love it. That or a slab of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> or a slab of bacon. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. It's been so nice. No, up absolutely, you again. guys. Super fun. I'm looking forward to hopefully skiing. Are you out? skiing this winter are you gonna be yeah yeah I'm, in, I'm in chamonix the rest of the winter cool and uh that's cool we started over at mammoth mountain that's my you know in, in america mammoth mountain is my base right and uh it's a wonderful place great mountain great great snow um i, I love it. it's it, i need to and, get myself out there one day and uh and at the same time when i'm in europe i base myself in chamonix for the same reasons i find myself in mammoth wonderful snow resorts always open it's a good community and there's plenty of things to do to yeah. All right, mate. Cool. Nice to catch up with you. No doubt, you guys. Very we'll much, see you on the hill. Stan Blake, the man. He the man. He the man. He the man. <laughs> <laughs>